lesson 16, we're going to find the exact value of cos of pi and 12 using complex numbers. And first, in part 1, we have to write z1 equal 1 plus i root 3 and z2 equals minus 1 plus i in the modulus argument form. Now just uh, pause the video and uh, see if you can do this yourself. Okay, now for this one, Z1, I'm just going to just draw a very rough little diagram, just get the orientation right. This is uh, 1 and root 3. So there's your 1 and your root 3. Yeah, that's pretty rough, isn't it? Okay, so here we can see that your Z is going to be, your R rather, is going to be 2. And here, you can, this one here, you can see it's going to be pi and 3. So as your argument, so Z1 is equal to cos pi upon 3 plus I sine of pi upon 3. So for Z2, I'm going to draw this a little bit better. Uh, okay, we've got a minus 1 on this side. There's a minus 1 there, and there's your 1 there. That's what I mean by getting this diagram right. There's your minus 1 and your 1. So now we've got the modulus is equal to square root of 2. Now here, that would be 45 degrees or pi upon 4. But you can't put pi upon 4 in. There's your argument there. Remember the argument must lie between pi and minus pi. So there it is there, so it's 3 pi upon 4. So z2 is equal to the square root of 2 outside because 3 pi upon 4 plus i sine 3 at pi upon 4. I can't emphasize how important it is to get this diagram right so you can get the argument correct. Right now, in part two, you have to write Z1, Z2 in the Cartesian form. So again, pause the video and have a go at this one. Okay, so Z1, Z2 is equal to 1 plus root 3i into minus 1 plus i. I'm going to do the pedestrian method, slow one, and do this. If you, you're more confident to use the old foil technique, it's all right. Just be careful with the eyes, that's all. Now, removing that bracket, we're going to get minus 1 plus i. This would be, there we go, I must have made a boo-boo then. Okay. This would be minus root 3 i. And this is going to be i squared minus 1 minus root 3. Lots of negative signs floating around here. So that becomes um, minus 1 minus root 3, the real bit, plus i outside of 1 minus root 3 as your imaginary bit there. Right now, in part three, we have to write Z1, Z2 in the modulus argument form. Again, just pause the video and do this rather simple task. All right, now you should have had Z1, Z2 is equal to you multiply the moduli together, becomes 2 root 2, and then we add the arguments. So it's because of pi upon 3 plus 3 pi upon 4, plus i sine of pi upon 3, plus 3 pi upon 4. And when you add these parts together, you're going to get 2 root 2. I'll write this cis if you like. This is of um, 13 pi upon 12.
Now using parts 2 and 3, find the exact values, value of the cos of pi upon 12. Now there's our cos 13 pi upon 12, but that can be written right as what is this? Right, this as the cos 13 pi upon 12 is equal to minus the cos of pi upon 12. So if we equate just the real parts of these two, we'll see that minus root 3 minus 1 will be equal to 2 root 2 times minus the cos of pi upon 12. Multi multiplying both sides by negative 1, we get uh, root 3 plus 1 equals 2 root 2 cos of pi upon 12. And divided both sides by 2 root 2, we get that the cos of pi upon 12 is equal to root 3 plus 1 on 2 root 2. Now tidying that up a little bit by multiplying by the root 2 on root 2, we're going to get now that the, this becomes root 6 plus root 2 all over 4. And that's rather neat, isn't it, working out the um, exact value using complex numbers.